Looking forward to this. We brought you the uh, huge boxing news earlier on that uh, Dillian White will fight, fight uh, Joseph Parker in a heavyweight clash at London's O2 Arena on July the 28th. It's going to be live on Sky Sports box office. And as you can see, both fighters are here. They've joined us in the studio. Very good afternoon to you uh, Japs, both. Good afternoon. Gents, uh, great to have you so close, I think. <laughs> That's it right. Is. Um, yeah. Now, we've been told that the, the deal for this fight was wrapped up within 48 hours. Why were you both so so keen to get involved? Let's start with you, Dylan. Because we're fighters, you know, so I got to respect him for that. You know what I mean? Many guys, we've offered him this, we offered him that, you know, um, position to fight for all titles and stuff in the line, but a lot of guys in every division don't want to fight. All they do is just talk and that's it, but he want to fight, I want to fight. We're both young, we're both hungry, so, you know, it's great that two guys can just come together I make it happen like that. That's all boxing needs to be, but everyone's scared of losing, or scared of taking chances. This fits for you? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. It's, um, no, like similar to what he said, right? A lot of fighters dodge, you know, dodge fighting you know, other fighters. Whereas, you know, he was keen to fight, I was keen to fight. And we see this as a, a great challenge, you know? I respect him, he respects me. We're both at the top of our game. So, you know, we don't want to be fighting people that we know we're going to beat. We want to fight a fight that we don't you know, want to get a test out of and a challenge. And see, they made the best man win. That's what it's about. Yeah, and not long until the fight, Joseph. Just seven weeks, in fact. What are you expecting, then, uh, from Dylan in this fight? Well, from, from what I've seen, um, he throws a lot of punches. He comes forward. He can brawl. He can move. So there's, um, there's a lot of po positives in his, uh, in his armour. But, um, you know, as a team, we're going to sit down and, and watch more fights and see the weaknesses that we can sort of um, counter and then come up with a game plan, which we think will work. Mm. Seven-week camp, is that, is that good for you? <laughs> it is what it is, man. It's heavyweight <laughs> boxing, man, you know. I'm used to taking fights at two weeks' notice. You know, um, I've had um, fights where I've had two weeks' notice, ten days' notice. So, for me, it doesn't matter, you know. Um, I'm going to train. I'm going to give it my all. You know, um, good thing for me is they're going to study my old fights. But if you watch my fight, I fight differently with a fight. That's one good thing. My style changes slightly, different things in different fights. I'm a little bit unpredictable with my style, so it's good. It's good. So don't bother watching his old no, fights. No, 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 it's, it's that's, good. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's basically what he's saying. So, well, no, I mean, that, that's good to hear. You, you've got a new... Have you already thought about a game plan for, for Joseph already? Listen, it's early days, but, you know, we've got a lot of sitting down to do. we look and we'll see, you know I mean? Um, a lot of his last few fights have been the same, you know, so... You know, we, we, we know what we're doing. We've been in the game long enough. You know, still a lot learning to do, still a lot more to go and a lot more to come, but we know what's in front of us, and there's only one or two things he's going to do. Let's, let's pick up on that, Dylan. You, you mentioned about the, the last few fights of Joseph being the same. Then mm. how would you summarise his performance uh, against Anthony Joshua? You know, it's one of the fights where I thought both men were very careful because it's a dangerous fight, it's a high-profile fight, and there's a lot at stake. You know, I did win, it would have completely taken off. Joshua would lose, he'd lose everything. So I think both of them was very careful. The referee didn't help. And sometimes in these big fights, your team tells you, listen, don't take unnecessary chances. Pick up the W, worry about looking good in your next fight. So, you know, I don't know what was in his mind then or whatever, but I can understand, you know, what he might have been thinking, what they might have told him, I don't know. but. It's sometimes these fights are so huge and there's so much at stake. They say to you, listen, take as minimum risk as possible, get the W, then we'll worry about looking good after because the idea of winning that fight would have blown past his wildest dreams. But sometimes, you know, it is what it is. As you look back, Joseph, on that fight, <clears throat> what, what were your thought process in the days and weeks ahead? Did you feel that there was an opportunity missed, particularly in the sixth? In the fight? Yeah, in the fight. I, um, similar to what he said, you know, it was a great opportunity to fight on a big stage. Mm. And I think both fighters are a bit cautious. You know, if I could turn back time, I would, I know, I'll, I'll go in more and, and attack more and throw a lot more punches. Mm. But um, there's no point looking back. You know, now I have someone in front of me who I'm focused on. My goal is to come here and put in a great performance. I want to beat, beat this guy and you know, I want to challenge for a world title again. You know, I believe I can do it. He believes he can do it. So that, that's what makes this exciting. Obviously, the, the um, Anthony Joshua fight was, was your last fight. You obviously had a lot of confidence coming into this next fight after your performance against Lucas Brown. Do you, do you feel that you've got that, you've got that swagger, whereas Joseph might be, I don't know, 
struggling a bit after his uh, first defeat? Listen, Adam speaks for himself. <laughs> <laughs> I've, 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 I've lost before, so <laughs> I, I know what it's like. You know, I've lost before. Mm. I've come back. Sometimes my loss can motivate you, Eric. Sometimes it can just make you think. What? But I believe um, where he's from, his people, his genetic, they, they, they worry people. So I believe that worry of spirit in him, and I believe that he will come to fight. I don't believe that I lost or change him that much. You know, he'll come to fight. And I'm hoping he does, and I'm hoping that he prepares properly and he's where he was before are even better now. <laughs> you know, that's what I'm hoping. So we'll see. I don't know what's in his mind, where he's at. I can't. I wish I could read, read minds, but I can't, unfortunately. So we'll see. And in terms, if he could read your mind, <laughs> how will you be preparing for this fight, Joseph? And, and as you think about the way that Dylan approaches this fight, what will that training camp look like as compared to the AJ fight? I think the AJ fight was a great camp for us, mm. but um, I feel like this is a fight for you know, Dylan and I. It's like a make or break, you know? The winner's going to go closer to challenge for a title. The loser will just have to keep building again. So I'm going to take this camp a lot more seriously than I... I, I, I took the last camp seriously, mm. but this camp I'm going to... You know, we're changing a few things because we think you know, there's a few things we need to change to be able to fight a great fight against Dylan. What would those be? Just um, there's some things that we do in training, sparring partners, um, being more aggressive, throwing more punches, being more, you know, just, you know, Delian said that he wants me to leave my running shoes at home because I moved a lot in the last fight. So, so hopefully for this fight, I'll bring my fighting shoes and we can just stand in and trade, you know? Can I ask you something? I heard that you say you want to get revenge for Lucas Brown. Is it? <laughs> Someone that said that and I go, oh, he's my neighbour, so maybe it can be one of those things. Oh, OK, no, I, I, just, I just wondered. That's, that's funny, <laughs> I was just wondering, that's all. Listen, he, he wanted to fight me at, at one stage. Yeah, I know, so. that's what I was wondering, because you guys was cussing each other and then they get revenge for him. But I don't mind, I, I, Someone I, I, mentioned I'm it cool. in an interview and I said, oh, yeah, OK, then he's, he's my neighbour. Australia, New Zealand sort of thing. But... In terms, Dylan, from, from your point of view, do you almost feel that this is the, this is the big one? This is the one that's going to catapult you into the, into the world title shot? It's, it's a massive fight. Former world champion, one loss, he's young, and he's hungry. I mean, I've, I've gone and have the fights. I've fought. Everyone, they told me the fight, everyone they put in front of me, I fought them all. This is another one for me. This is like, it's like oh, my whole career been acid test after acid test after acid test, you know, so. For me, this is another fight. It's a massive fight. It's a big fight. It's one that I can shine on. It's one I believe I will shine on. But, you know, I just got to go out there and just do what I got to do to hurt Parker as much as I can and as early as I can. Obviously, we discussed earlier on with Joseph his defeat against AJ. That was last time mm. out. It's something that you've got in common. You lost to, you lost to, you lost yeah. to AJ. But, I mean, we don't want to... I wish we had something better in common, but... Well, we are, yeah. 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 We are going to uh, go just dwell on it just for, just for a yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah. Um, but how much of a better fighter are you now than you were then? Are a million you, times. Yeah, are you completely a million transformed? Times, a million times, a million times, you know. I wasn't in the right shape, wasn't training properly, wasn't eating properly, and I had those injuries. But those are all excuses. I went in there, you know, I, I, when my shoulder went in the second round, I, I could have called it a day, but it's not my style. I went out there, I went off there with the injury, and I put work in. I ended up losing eventually, but that's how it goes, you know. It, it's the boxing game, you know, this... There's, there's different kind of fighters in every division. There's guys that will do enough, and there's guys that will go beyond the call of duty. And I'm one of those guys that will always go beyond the call of duty. And that's what I did in this fight. And my coach tried to stop the fight about three, four rounds earlier. But I said to my coach, let me go out there and go out on my shield. You know, and that's the kind, that's the kind of person I am. It just didn't you see from those pictures that were on the hub behind us there, uh, Dillian, that it, it, perhaps it was the first time that Josh had got hurt in a mm. fight. Staggering left hook, and he was, his, mm. his knees looked to have gone. Uh, for, for a moment. How much confidence do you take from that? Or, or is that just because it was December 2015, you're in, you're in a different space I'm altogether a, I'm now. a different person, you know what I mean? Um, but I could have, that day I could have had him, but, you know, we knew going into the fight, we had some problems and we knew what we needed to do. And also landed left foot because that's one of the points that Joshua's run over to. We landed it and then my AC joint completely shattered, you know, and then from then it was a downhill struggle, you know, and, but I'm a completely different person. I train better. Look after myself better. Up until that fight, I had no nutritionist, no physio, nothing. I was just cracking on by myself. I was going through a lot and, and just my sheer rage and, and, and aggression, because that's what I knew. I've always had to be that way growing up because of my background and where I'm from and what I've been through in life. And that carried me all the way up to the British title. So, 
Joseph, uh, you, I suppose it, there, there will be comparisons drawn with the Joshua fight inevitably. Uh, you were standing at the end uh, of that fight. Sounds like it's going to be a very different challenge uh, this time uh, around. Uh, are, are you looking forward to mixing? I mean, Dave Figgins, who's just stood over there, your promoter, he said it's going to be the most interesting fight of the year because it's a 50-50. Do you see it as a 50-50? Yeah, I see it as a 50-50. I see the, you know, the youngness, the, the drive that we both have, the, the goals that we have to be world champion. You know, you can't really say that you, know, you got knocked out and I went 12 rounds. No, yeah. styles make fights and every fight is different and anything can happen in any fight. So everyone says, are you confident from the 12 rounds you went? You can't get confidence from 12 rounds. You have to focus on the person in front of you, not what you did in the past. So um, I'm excited, man. I can't wait, you know. I'm in the ring with this guy who's got longer reach than me, but, you know, I want to get in there and do my thing. I'm in the ring with this guy who's half an inch taller because, <laughs> because he's, got, he's got heels on, so, you know. It's, it's two inches reach and half uh, an inch in height. It's not much, is it? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> he's, got, he's got long reach, man, but <laughs> I'm going to counter it somehow. All right. Well, thank goodness this desk is, uh, That's right, is, yeah. is, is pretty big. That's Gents, well, well we wish now. you well on, on yeah, July yeah. the 28th, and yeah, we really yeah. appreciate you uh, coming in. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, guys.